Welcome everybody to our weekly webinar, Soul Changes Lives. My name is Debbie Perez Cockburn. I am the moderator for this discussion. We try to have a weekly seminar where we offer great information about Soul Natural products. We try to have a testimonial every week. Uh, another feature of this webinar is we have our president and CEO of Soul Naturals, also one of the founders, um, share some product knowledge about soul natural products. And then we try to give a few how to make your soul shine brighter tips at the end of our webinar every week. So we are grateful that you're here, that you're watching us live or that you'll watch us on a replay. Thanks everybody for being here. So I have today's testimonial. And before I do that, I just wanna let everyone know who's watching, no one on the panel is a doctor. We don't pretend to be doctors. We don't try to be doctors. We don't treat disease or talk about uh, infirmities, but we do share our best knowledge of natural healing with the use of adaptogenic herbs from Soul Naturals. So today's testimonial comes to me from Puerto Rico. I got a little message from one of my customers out there and says um, she had been suffering with um, cysts on her thyroid for years and her doctor had wanted to actually do surgery on it. And uh, she started to use Soul. And three months after using Soul, she went back to the doctor who was pretty amazed that all of the cysts were gone. Awesome. And, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm trying to translate it from Spanish. Um, but she says, you'll never believe how great that neuro I am is. <laughs> Um, and just in three months using it and all, and all of the other products, the, the cysts on my thyroid are gone. And then she sent me a copy of the lab test uh, because you can actually see in the blood when there's irregular cell growth. And uh, it said that it was gone. And so I noticed also that it said patient has suffered or has a history of diabetes and high blood pressure. And so I ventured and asked and said, well, I see this on the, the copy of the certificate you sent me from the doctor. How's that situation going? She goes, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you. I don't have to take any diabetes medication and I'm off of my high blood pressure medication. Everything is great. That soul naturals is amazing. <laughs> so I really wanted to share that, that testimonial with you today. I thought it was very sweet. She's an older lady. Um, in Puerto Rico, and you you know you either believe in herbs or you don't. But sometimes when you're not feeling well, you're you're feeling strong enough that you say, okay, you know what, I'm going to try something new. And the the medical world was really not giving her much hope or help, and uh, Soul Naturals did. So I was really happy to hear that testimonial, and I hope that you, if you know anyone that has that kind of problem, that maybe you'd like to share some of that information with them as well. All righty, so to tell us a little bit more about one of um, two of our favorite products here in this household anyway, um, our Excel and the Maca XD. And so I asked our president and CEO of Soul Naturals, Greg Halliday, if he would tell us why it was so important to him at Soul and also to his team to develop a product that didn't contain one maca, yellow maca, which is really what most people use on the market, but he decided to include black and red maca as well. So we're the only company that has a true tri maca blend available to us in our drink, in our powder drink, Soul Excel, and also in the maca XD. And when you read his slides with all of the information that he's going to share with us today on why maca is so important for our health. You'll understand why we have it in the form that we do. So Greg, welcome. Thank you for taking time out of your day every week to be with us on this webinar. Thank you, Debbie. And it's time well spent. I look forward to it. I've got a few slides to show you today and hopefully hopefully when we see them, we'll, they kind of answer the question, why did we do all three maca? Why didn't we just sort of do what's, what's been done here in the US? And I'll tell you part of the reason, Blake and I are, we're really strange. We go every year at least once to um, a particular industry show. We've done this for decades. 
where suppliers from all around the world will gather. And there are always some new ones. We see the ones that we've worked with for decades, we have lots of confidence in. But you'll, as there are advancements, you know, some, some plants come from countries that have not been as developed or as connected. And as the world is more and more connected, we'll see some new things that are really, really a wonderful nutrition, like, like kupuwasu fruit, which is also part of actually these two products that Debbie mentioned, even though we're not going to be talking about it today. And, and, there, and there are others. And when we look at the science behind it, um, nowadays, especially with the quality suppliers, they know we're going to ask those questions. And so what they end up doing is giving you all their information up front. And this is, this is one of the way, reasons why we decided to go with three different kinds of maca. This is a great picture of them, red, black, and yellow. So we kind of group them into what we call this vibrancy blend because the yellow category is about restoring energy by removing blockages and, and by also normalizing glandular communication um, and nervous system communication. I know those are kind of general <laughs> statements, but we really believe in looking at it holistically in a broader sense. And so the yellow category, um, which is where the Soul Excel drink is in, that is where this blend was first formulated. Now, later we, we did the second product, as Debbie mentioned, Soul Maca XD, which is a red category, and we added a couple of additional herbs to it. But this core blend is these three kinds of maca and this amazing kupuasu fruit. Today, we're just going to focus on the macas because uh, there, there's so much to talk about when you talk about everything. Maca is really interesting. Look how high it grows. So it's just below the, the glacial ice cap in the Andes, which, as you know, is a very tall mountain range in this hemisphere. Um, oh, I, do, I mean, an example in here in Utah, we've got some pretty tall mountains. The tallest in Utah is about 12,000 feet. We've got one that's just under 12,000 feet right by us. So the mock is growing clear up in the highest peaks and higher than, what, than anything we have in Utah in Peru. It is around extreme weather. That's where it thrives. So it's subject to freezing high winds, intense sunlight. Maca has a very high frost tolerance. It's very hardy. And it passes on some of that hardiness to us in the nutrients. Um, lots of records of it going back into the 1700s. And yes, like some of the other um, really wonderful medicinals in South America, some of the early Spanish explorers, once they were there and subject to all the illnesses and et cetera, they weren't used to, they would prefer maca as, as, as an example, these root in payment rather than other forms of payment at times. <laughs> That's how valuable it was to them. And here's an interesting one. Oh, I love showing this. This is from Dr. Allison. You know, we, we're so in love with all the advances of science, which are amazing, which are just really literally amazing in, in medical science. And there's nothing about that that should lead us to forget this, but it does. We can, it seems like as society, we can focus on one thing. And that's what happened to maca. It actually was almost forgotten. In fact, look how few acres were cultivated in 1979. And it's thanks to a woman who led research that we actually have maca today. It's really thanks to her writing and insight and studies. Maca, and, I, and I'm trying to see, does her, I don't think her name's on here, is it? Oh, darn it, that is a picture of her. And I think in another presentation, we've got her name. I'll find her name for you. But she wrote books about it. And it, it suddenly people realized we, this is not something we should let go of. It is now widely cultivated and is growing. In fact, the, the other types of maca, the red and the black, you, more people are discovering them. So why does it help? It's an adaptogen. It balances things, feeds the body, it's highly nutritious, helps mitigate the way stress hits us, and has lots of specific effects that it brings that have been studied in science. Um, so let's look at this for a minute. Nervous system and endocrine systems are both connected. Maca deals with both. 
It also deals with what we'll see in just a minute, the hypothalamus. I love that maca directly will, will affect the balance and the strength of, of the hypothalamus. Uh, let's see what else here. Ah, there's her name. It's, it's Chacon, but I still, I still want to get her first name. We could look it up. Back in the 1960s, she is the one who showed that alkaloids, certain components of maca, affect the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland. These two, these two director glands, right? And therefore, they they found that hormones that are out of balance, which is very common and pretty constant, that something in especially the more modernization that happens, the more chemicals, the more um, advancement, technological advancement, we find ourselves uh, in confronting more, and the body has to deal with more, and a hormone balancer becomes more and more precious. We've chosen, unfortunately, society to do it by giving hormones, hormone therapy, much harder to do, and many more effects, side effects. Maca works another way. It works in a higher way to do it. It nourishes the endocrine system through the hypothalamus, balances the body that way. This is from Dr. Allison's presentation. There are lots of studies on maca and helping the body find homeostasis. Um, um studying the effects of stress so it resolves the variations in homeostasis produced by stress it reduces or abolishes entirely stress-induced ulcers so there's a digestive benefit it reduces corticosteroid levels okay um elevated blood sugar maca reduces eliminate the, the, the decreases in free fatty acids that, that are produced by stress. So the good fats improve to it with maca in the diet, reduces, increases in adrenal gland rate weight, which is interesting to me. And that's a study, you know, not, not even 20 years old. So maca, um, maca is pretty amazing. It's a root problem. So I love the tree. Sometimes you'll, we've all maybe heard this analogy um, the, the leaves are sort of symptoms. We can have any number of symptoms from health imbalances. The branches might be core processes and the roots are really where all the nutrition is derived. Maca deals in the roots. That is why in almost every area of the leaves, you can find improvement, so to speak. So here's some specific effects of maca. One of them is in sexual health, which is more and more and more being um, manipulated by chemicals. Uh, people seek those to try to fix the problems and the imbalances from infertility issues to libido, both in men and in women. But maca has a huge effect. Look at these numbers in here. These, are, these numbers are really amazing. A huge effect without introducing any hormones or chemicals in the body. In addition, one of the products my wife used when she was dealing with perhaps her hardest depressive period, and we've shared her story before, when she was pregnant with our son, Ethan, and our daughter, Grace, the final two kids. She, did, she took DHEA, and the reason she took it, because just separate as a product from another company, this is before Sol existed, because uh, of all the research and the help that it could bring. Well, Maka has taken away that need to, to separately have to go get DHEA because maca will it result in increased DHEA. Um, adrenal out, output is improved. In other words, strengthened. The ad adrenal glands are strengthened. Um, metabolism is improved, general sense of well-being, blood pressure, better, more balanced, lower. And blood iron levels, another biggie, um, normalized with the use of maca. So with women, lots of great studies with menstrual irregularities, estrogen dominance, all of these things improved by maca, balanced to the way they should be. In perimenopause, these, these are the aspects that have been studied and shown to improve with the use of maca every day. I mean, that kind of covers the biggies, right? The hot flashes, mood swings, depression, bone health, um, changes in skin. I just think it's pretty amazing. 
These are again studies that Dr. Allison Caldwell Andrews presented in this presentation here a few years ago. Look at the, the last point. Well, you can see the cortisol lowering too, big problem. Big problem today, and, and, and that is helped by maca. Um, but look at the bottom one, because I think Debbie, Debbie just uh, commented on thyroid, on a thyroid issue. And yes, this has been a fairly um, major focus of Excel and the MACAs because we've had some amazing experiences among some of our, our wonderful leaders here in the Soul family. And I shared one of them yesterday, um, but we've seen many that have had wonderful um, results where they couldn't find any, you know, working the medical route with their thyroid. Um, so look what maca does. Even this is postmenopausal. Est estrogen raised enough to alleviate symptoms without having to give, give to deal with actual hormones, simply balancing things. And so all of these things improve. All of these symptoms that we are listed here have improved. And this is what Dr. Allison says. The plant sterols in, in maca trigger the body to help itself increase or decrease production of individual hormones, balancing le their levels according to what the body needs, depending on our age, gender, et cetera. This is one of the reasons why teenagers who have a lot of need because of diet and stress do not, we as parents do not need to worry about them with maca thinking, oh, it's going to give them even more. Their hormones are already active enough. We don't want to pile on. Doesn't do that. It, w it won't do that with teenagers. It actually balances them in a more healthy way. But because of what she said. And these are some other, these are some other effects that have been studied, results of maca, more energy, vigor, less depression. She's got the sources listed here. Um, enhanced sexual drive for and fertility for both men and women. So that's a that's a unique one we always mention because some things kind of are you know, more, more for men or more for women. And maca is, is absolutely equally wonderful for both. And that's why we, and, and it's because it's an adaptogen uh, in, in our belief. Adaptogens are that way. They're going to be good for, for both genders. Um, same thing in, with athletes. These are the same kinds of things, stamina, energy, better well-being. So, so um, um, less sickness, less time being sick. And then there's altitude sickness, which is an interesting little little tidbit. Soul Vital has some, some adaptogens that are shown for that. But you, you, think of, you think about this, any of these adaptogens that grow in really high altitude, they tend to help in that. Um, other benefits, better sleep. Why, Dr. Allison says? Because maca has the raw materials for serotonin. So the body's able to produce what it needs, better relaxation. Um, and things that interfere with our serotonin, like cortisol, get lowered because of maca. So she kind of gives us some reasons. Chronic fatigue, why does it help with that? Because DHE levels go up with maca and exhausted adrenal glands, which are common, if not kind of the norm at some point in most people's lives nowadays, um, they get some relief, they get some strength. Um, it depends on the person, right? I love that Dr. Allison put that. Some people can immediately feel a difference, like within a couple of days. And others, they need to stick with it for a little bit of time. How, how long have we been sort of abusing our adrenals? It depends, right? Um, here's, some, here's a look into the brain in macas. It's significantly brain protective in another study in 2016. So what are we talking? Five years ago. Cognitive function was better. Motor coordination was better. I think about that with Debbie with, with Debbie's friend in, in Puerto Rico. I'm, I don't know how, what her age is. But whenever we, we started get, because I'm not, I'm not a spring chicken anymore. And, and motor coordination is a big deal because it, it is protection against injury and falls. Um, endurance capacity in middle, uh, that now this is something that they, yes, they tested with mice. We don't love this, but I've noticed Dr. Allison will read it because there's a lot of very interesting information that leads to human study. So we're back to the three kinds of maca because we've got to finish by answering the question, well, why all three in all this? Well, because all these studies that we've shown and talked about, they're actually on various types of maca. They aren't just on one. And that's why we have such a broad band. Even though all of them are each individually adaptogens, they have their strengths. And so here's a little bit of, of, about that, about the strengths. Um, for instance, the second point here, black maca 
kind of has the best results when men may have a problem with producing sperm. They also have the, the strongest results with memory and mental fatigue. Red maca is, is the one that, that has shown the strongest looking at prostate inflammation and also looking at bone density problems. The red maca did more than the others. And this is, you can see where this study came from in Peru uh, seven years ago. So one study in on reca, red maca showed better effects than any of the others, while other studies show equal in all three macas. And that's what, that's what Dr. Allison says when she says showed no difference. So it depends on the person. I like that bullet point because what it says is we're all unique. And we mentioned this yesterday in Debbie's class in Spanish. None of us, not a single one of us has a duplicate anywhere else. We're all unique. And that's another reason why all three of these kinds, because some of the things that in studies generally do better with some people, they don't with us. We need, we need a little different cocktail of plant compounds. And when we get that, suddenly our body has, you know, the holes plugged and we're able to do what, what needs to be done. But here's one evidence why sometimes the red maca is the king for mood elevating. It actually has the highest GABA of the macas and that can account for the difference. Um, also, when people are asked in studies when they use the maca and then they, they express their own view their, their own self-perception, it tends to be the highest in mood, energy, and libido when they've used red maca of, of all the macas. So you can see why we weren't gonna leave the red out. Well, once we read that, it's, it's obviously the perfect thing for a certain a group of people, and we wanna make sure we included it. Now on the black maca, this is where learning and memory was the highest in terms of its results. Um, I don't know, you'll have to ask someone else, scopolamine, I think I'm saying it right, um, but scopolamine induced memory deficits, whatever those are, the black ma maca improved them the most. And I think I mentioned already in men, uh, daily sperm production and motility, um, black maca was the strongest. It also was the strongest in blood sugar regulation and reducing glucose tolerance and, and fasting glucose. So lots of studies on that. So this is why we have all three because they all, they all have many similar components. There is a lot of overlap. I, maca has in the hundreds, uh, I mean, over a hundred of plant, uh, beneficial plant compounds. So it has a lot of them, but they have their strengths. They have, um, they have certain of them that are higher and a slightly different. I don't think we mentioned it here, but there are some of the compounds in maca that are not found in any other plant, though they might be in a similar class the way they exist in maca is the only place they're known to exist. And this is why we wanted to include the entire variety because they each have those unique, I can't remember if they were plant sterols or was um, exactly what it was, but they, they've named them. If you go look them up, they have maca in the name. Uh, they might've been alkaloids, I, I'm trying to remember. But we wanted all of it. We believe in complete plants. These are in the case of maca roots. And we have three varieties that are all up in this, in this you know, amazing place on the earth where they grow. And they're full of nutrients and they're real, they're real balancers. So um, they're a big part of, of the soul products. We've seen lots of lives um, improved with them. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll keep with it. Deb, back Thank to you. Thank you. Wow. Thanks, Greg. Seriously, I love that. Um, so amazing. So, so that you all know, the reason I asked Greg to talk about this today is because maca for me has been a very interesting product to use. I, like a lot of people will always say, you know, oh, I can't give that to my kids. Well, you heard it today from Greg. Um, I think it's, it's always good. What is this? What is the saying? No one's a prophet in their own in their own country. Um, <laughs> yeah. I know when I've said to people, you know, maca is a great product to use with your teenagers. Oh no, I would never give maca to my teenagers because isn't that for libido? I don't want my kids getting in trouble. Um, I, I love that maca is considered a true adaptogen and that we have three forms of it. And just like Greg said, nobody fits every, you know, no one can fit into a certain mold. Herbs don't either. Uh, especially adaptogens can't be pigeonholed into one thing and using three maca 
uh, types in these products like the Excel, which we know is it is a clarifying product, right? And so it helps the the body flow of every the lymphatic system, the the circulatory system, everything that has to flow flows better with maca because of its adaptogenic qualities. In that sense, um, really helps the body become better or excel or have more light and clarity. Uh, I love that. But if you look at it in the um, maca XD formula. You don't have to look at a product that's strictly for the glandular system. You're looking at something, and it made me think of Becky, because I know, and Becky, I hope you don't mind that I'm going to mention this, but Becky had surgery recently. She had knee surgery. I've had that, that particular knee surgery three times. Remember, Greg? <laughs> Meniscus repair. Anyway, um, I, you know, I, I've had surgeries before, and I know how important it is to add maca. Uh, before and after a surgery, especially something that that touches on the circ the structural and um, muscular system, because of the strength that the macas, three macas, can provide to bone health and muscle production because of the amount of amino acids in the maca, yeah, which is high. We didn't even talk about that. Yeah. Right. We didn't get a chance to talk about that today. So because of the amount of amino acids, we know it's going to help the structural system. We know it's definitely going to help the circulatory system. And those two are related. And so I immediately thought of Becky and thought, well, this is going to be a great product to talk about this week because Becky's going to be making a recovery from her surgery. And so I hope this information helps all of you. I hope that you can see that I'm not trying to blow smoke up anybody's skirt by saying this is a product that everyone can use. This truly is a product that everyone can use, you know, adolescents, adults, uh, premenopausal, perimenopausal, or postmenopausal, or who are actually going through menopause um, because of so many issues that, that they touch on, not just the hot flashes, but the bone density, the, the building or balancing of other hormones in the body. And, you know, traditional medicine will say, add more estrogen. Well, that's not what nature does in the body. The body doesn't add more estrogen. It balances out the production of all three major uh, hormones that are used by men and women. And so I love that this is not a product that is strictly for men or strictly for women can't be used by children. It can be used by children, adolescents, adults. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Greg. I appreciate always when you use Dr. Allison's slides because she has the medical uh, studies in the background so that you know that this is not something that's being made up. I know a lot of companies will hype a lot of individual products. Soul is not about the hype. And just for your knowledge, Greg, Becky, and I were sleuthing while you were doing your presentation. And Dr. Chacon's first name is Gloria. Okay, Gloria and Chacon. She, yeah. Yes, and she yeah. postponed her studies for a little while on the maca because she was caring for her husband. And mm -hmm. when her husband passed away, she resumed the, these studies. But the studies that Dr. Allison quoted were done early in her career. So she was in her late 20s when she was doing this study on maca in Peru. There, there's a group, thank you, Deb. There, there's a group of, you know, there are a group of scientists who published a lot on adaptogens. Yeah. And Dr. Allison quotes them and they're men, but there's an equally large group and they're all women in the, in the Western hemisphere. Yeah, you know, Dr. Mary Fernandez from San Diego, she's an MD. She's yeah. the one who did all the Nopal, the prickly all the Nopal studies. studies. And she showed why it's an adaptogen. So yes, I, they, more people need to hear this because uh, honestly, you look at it a different way. You, we look at health and nutrition a different way and it's information that's not getting out there, but thank goodness for these women who, you know, with, with all their hardship didn't matter, they still finished their studies and pushed the publication of these things. Sure, they didn't give up. And I, I, like, I like that idea for, for many reasons, but what I wanted to close on before we say goodbye to Greg is that we can change lives one person at a time. We can do this one step at a time. I watched the TED talk today that truly touched me on a lot of levels for a lot of reasons. It's the, um, the Naval commander. He is the, he is the top brass in the Navy. He happens to be of my faith. And so when I hear him talk, it just really stirs me, but he said, that we should take pride in sharing 
or completing a task at the beginning of the day, even if the day goes to crap afterwards or how hard the day becomes. And it really made me think of, of this, this discussion that we were having today where um, certain women pushed forward and did the scientific study and these products are changing people one person at a time. So never be afraid to share soul, make your soul shine um, and share it every week, share it every day. Uh, the more you share, the more great experiences you'll get, the testimonials that'll come back to you. And I just appreciate that Soul does so much with such a smaller line of product um, because of the great use of adaptogenic herbs and how they've been combined and how they can help us. So thank you, Greg, again, um, for everything. And I will see you on Sunday. Okie doke. See you soon. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Bye-bye. All righty, everybody. So... Um, I, I love this. I love this discussion today. I hope you've gotten as much out of it as, as I did. I love hearing these talks over again. You know, I probably heard this talk about maca six years ago when the product first came out. Um, and a lot of people were just, you know, maca on the market. I, most people were selling yellow maca and only extracting certain active ingredients of the yellow maca just to promote male libido or male enhancement wasn't even to help women <laughs> you know that's that's just how the nature of the beast is in the business and so um to know that you can use this product safely because it, it is a true adaptogen and that's one of the characteristics of a true adaptogen is that it has to be safe for daily use and can be used safely by everyone and so that gives me a lot of strength and hope anyway going back to this ted talk um it, it really made me think of how important it is for us to share our story. And so um, I hope that you will share your stories this week. That will be your assignment. I think I might just give a weekly assignment <laughs> every time we have a product training. Um, and, and that could be your assignment this week, how to make your soul shine brighter. I, I like the play on words because I know that Greg picked the company name S-O-L-L-E -L -L -E because it sounds like soul, our, our heart and soul. Um, but in Spanish, sol, S-O-L, is the sun, the sunshine. And so when I think of soul, I think of sunshine and how we can make our soul shine brighter. Or if you want to think about your soul, how do you, how do you share your soul with people? How do you share your soul? Um, and maybe we'll start talking about um, ideas on how you share your soul. I know for me and our group, it's easy to share soul by using the four month program, you know, and share the brochures. It makes it a lot easier if you are a, a newbie, but then of course, Soul Naturals company has actually done something for you now by creating some starter kits to make it even easier for you to share soul with whomever needs it. I thank you for being here every week. Just want to remind everyone that we will not be having a webinar next week as the, um, Company executives will be traveling to Florida for our soul to soul trip, which is a, um, a fun trip that people qualify for. It's the only trip that people qualify for at Seoul. Um, and I have the privilege of attending next week. And so I will also be out of town, but I will see you again the following week. Sure. Love you guys. Thanks so much for sharing no, thank you. the whole time with me every week. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye.